All right, guys, we're gonna do some perch fishing today here on the river, the Knob River. Walking to the first spot. I'm just gonna be throwing this little mini jig here, a two pound test. Going for some European perch. Hopefully get a couple decent ones and take them home and get to fry them up for dinner. Head under this bridge right now. Caught some good ones over here. We're gonna walk down the, the river a little way. Hit some, hit some little grassy spots and see if we can't get us a couple. Ideally we could get just a couple good ones. So, sun came out. It's not too cold. It's about what, 55, 56 today. The sun came out, so usually when the sun comes out, they get a little active, they turn on. So hopefully that's the case today. And uh, we can get us some. Might even get a little pike or something with some bycatch, so. Let's hope they're biting and uh, get after it. We're almost there already. Water looks a little lower than usual. That's all right. <clears throat> already something exploding right there. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera. Something came up and busted on the bait fish. Or at least get us a perch. when they're there they'll bite pretty quick try a little more natural black and white with some glitter in it it's going ultralight got a st. Croix ultralight rod a 500 size reel two pound test going for these perch should be fun if I can get a couple I actually caught some pike on this setup, believe it or not. Hmm. That's not a good sign. stuck on now. Expected to have got one already. Interesting. Okay. Well.
There's a perch. There's a perch. There's a good little perch. Ooh, another one too. Ooh, a bunch of them. Ooh, good perch. Not a bad perch. Not eating size, but target species nonetheless. I just dropped it. They just choked it too. They get under up under the grass. But that's the right species, guys. There's number one. So we're on the board. European perch. You guys got the red fins? It's a European perch. He went a little bit bigger than that. We're gonna take him home and eat him. But the pattern is is they hide up under that grass. And if I can get another one. If I can get ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Eh, maybe not, but he's still good. There's number two. Got a spot. There's another perch right there, guys. Number two. About the same size. Hoping for a little bit bigger one this time, but we'll get bigger, hopefully. So, the thing is, is, there's a lot of bait fish over here, so they're just hanging out, waiting for a bait fish to drop in, like mine, back to back, and now they're getting smart on me already. There's one. There's another one. They're all about the same size. They're right there in that grass. I'm just dropping it right down there by that grass with that little mini jig. Bouncing it off the bottom. A little bit smaller. Hoping to get a good one, take it home and eat it, but <clears throat> I have to work through some of these smaller ones first probably. The problem is if I keep getting stuck in this grass, I'm just scaring them away. We've got a couple guys, so that's a start. Had a fish, guys. Had a perch. Ooh, had another one. There's a fish. This is a better one. Might be a better perch. Another perch, not necessarily a better one, but about that same size. Thicker, hey, might be a little bigger, but still not what we're looking for. I mean, if I kept about 10 of these, I guess I could get a decent meal. But there's another perch, target species, I think that's the fourth one. So, I'm doing all right. On them. Oh, weeds. I thought I had another fish, but it was just weeds. <laughs> Need to get on some bigger ones. There's a fish. Another small perch, I think. 
Is it a fish? Oh yeah, it's a real small. <laughs> All right, now we're going the wrong way, guys. Now we're going the wrong direction. Because that's a perch, it's a target species, but it's about weenie length for me, which is not what we want. Uh oh, tree pounder, don't break. But I'll tell you what, that two pound test is tough. <laughs> I'll try from a different angle guys, because I was getting some bites, but I just couldn't get a good hook set in them because I was afraid of getting stuck in this stuff. So let me move a little bit. Let's see if this guy's still, ooh, this, ooh that guy left. So my spot should be open now. Nice. Oh, I had one and I lost him. I had one and I lost him. It was a little one, but still. I don't want to be losing fish. good one too I didn't know I had a fish till I went to go bounce it it was just pressure that one was strong dude I need to be catching these things man gosh that broke off which is okay, because typically I like using like a bright head when I use a more realistic color body like I had on, so I'm not totally mad because I want to want to throw one of these on with like this bright fluorescent orange head and see if it see how it does. It's usually my go-to. I mean, I don't always do it, but usually what I'll do is I'll, if I have a a bright body, I like to do a more natural head, and if I have a natural head, I like to do a bright body. I mean, not every time, but typically that's what I do. Just trying to read the river here where I think the perch might be hanging out. And you'll see, at least I've seen, you got this grassy point and then the water kind of collects here and creates this current. So I'm thinking the perch might be hanging out on the other side of that and eating whatever gets flushed. Hung up on something. Stick. All right guys, well, if that's not an indicator I should move. There's a perch. All right, broke the spell, we got one. Now we're on the side of the river that I was, that was getting fished before. I guess I should have shown you guys that one, but that's number five. So, that was a dink though, so you guys didn't miss much. What I'm doing is I'm just, oh. all I'm doing is I'm just casting it not far. I'm just letting it sink to the bottom along the weed edge. Once it gets to the bottom, I'm just kind of popping it. Then usually they'll either grab it on the when it's on the bottom, and when I go to lift and pop it again, they're just on there. Or I'll feel them thump it, like I felt that little one thump it.
but the ones that I missed earlier, I wasn't really feeling them grab it. I was just going to go lift, and they were on there, and I wasn't getting a good hook set in them. There's a fish. There's a perch, little one, I think. This is bouncing off the bottom. Ooh, that's a better one. There's another one. But they're all about that same size. I need them a little bit bigger if I'm gonna keep them. That's number six. Looks like something grabbed his tail at one point throughout his life. Number six, that same technique going. Just right along the grass, letting it sink, popping it. They're sitting pretty close to the bottom, so I'm having to let it sink all the way down there and I'm just kinda doing some pops. I felt him grab it. Just like I felt that one grab it. Another perch. A little bigger. All about that same size though. This one's pretty thick. It's probably the biggest one of the day here. <sighs> nice little European redfin perch. That's the technique right there. There's some bait fish there too, which helps. Again, I felt that one grab it. They're just hanging out in the grass and they're coming out ambushing whatever gets too close to the to the grass. And now I got the grass stuck on my, I'm hung up. Not hung up, but I'm, I got some stuff here. My best spot's up that way. So we haven't even got to my best spot yet, but I mean, I say that and then watch, I want to get anything there. But I lost a good one there last time. All right, there's another one. That one might be a little better. That one might be a little better there. Oh yeah, that one's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that number seven or something? Now we're, now we're getting closer. Now we're getting closer to being able to fillet a little guy up. Another one. I could fillet him up just like I would a, a bluegill or something. But we'll let him go. Little one. Ah, just a dink. Going back the other direction again. Just a little one. Now what we're looking for. There's a fish. Small one there. A really small one. But it's the right species. Might have 
no, was that nine? What happened to him? He got grabbed by something. Something just grabbed him. Pike or something. Another one. Little tank. This guy's a little thick little tank. Another decent one. Not bad. There's number 10. That guy's solid, man. That's a little tank. Still waiting on that big one, though. Like I said, I'm just casting straight down this line here. Straight down the line. Letting it sink. And just giving her a few pops. I'm hung up on something. And we're out of action. Oh, I don't want to blow my freaking spot up before I even get to it. God. Stuck at fucking everything right now. I don't really want to have to keep you trying, but of course, I will. I'm hung up again, dude. Another one. I retie here again. Back in the fight, let's go. No more goofing around, let's get after it. I know there's a good perch out here that wants to come home and be dinner. This looks like, ooh, there's a lot of bait here. This looks, this could be promising. Bunch of bait here.
Oh, one is little ninny. How many bucktails I tied? Since I'm tired of losing all my other stuff. Let's see what happens. It'd be cool. Fish. It's hung up. Oh, it's a nice perch, biggest perch of the day on my homemade bucktail jig. Ha! Biggest perch of the day. I got him on my homemade bucktail jig. Biggest perch of the day. on the homemade bucktail. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know, not as much grass over here, so I'm not sure if these perch are gonna be here. Oh, there's, a, there's one right there. Another one on the homemade bucktail. Dude, right there. On the homemade bucktail. Cool. There's another perch. Looks like that one's gone. Let's try a different one. Try orange and white this time. Gotta make some more. But yeah, guys, check it out. I tied these up a while back. I just never really used them. Uh, I got an orange one. I had a fire trigger one I just lost. But I also have a pink and white one. And this orange and white one. I'm going to use the orange and white one right now. Got one on the orange. Got one on the orange and white too. Cool. There's another one. I'm literally just dropping this thing. Anytime I see some structure or a thick patch of grass, I'm literally just dropping it and just bouncing it off the bottom. Another perch, guys, and the little bucktail. They're all about the same size, man. I don't know, maybe the bigger ones aren't up in by the weeds. Maybe the bigger ones are out deeper. So they're all about the same size, you know, for the most part. All right, last bucktail. <laughs> Got one bucktail left. Caught one on 
in every color so far. The fire tiger, orange and white, now I got pink and white. Let's see if I can uh, complete the trifecta of homemade bucktails. Catching a fish before I break off. <laughs> Oh, there's, oh, the best, oh, 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 that was a good perch. That was the best perch of the day right there, and I lost him. Oh, that hurts. That was the best perch of the day right there, and I lost him. That was a keeper, man. Oh, that was a good perch. No. Mmm. Ooh, good perch, good perch. Dude, dude, yes, dinner. Dude, and I lost a good one over there too earlier. There we go, boys. That's what we've been waiting on all day. That's what we've been waiting on all freaking day. That's the one. She'll fry up nice. And we can get another one to go with it. Nice, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Nice perch. And I lost a good one over there, too. Quick. Painless. <clears throat> nice, man. On the homemade jig. At the buzzer. Thought I was hung up and we still got time for another one and I lost a bigger one too man over there that one was bigger than that one There's an interesting little path. Let's see where this goes. Ooh. Okay. This looks interesting. There goes the last bucktail, boys. goes All right, guys, that's going to do it for this time. I hope you guys had a 
fun time watching the video. There's the sunsets here in uh, Bavaria, Germany. Uh, we caught, what, I don't know, close to 20 perch or so today. Lost a couple good ones, caught a good one, so it's all it's all fair. It's all uh, it's all good. I'm gonna take the one home. I'm gonna fry them up, eat them. I'll probably do a catch and cook at some point with the um, the European perch. I appreciate you guys watching, and stay tuned for some more Americans fishing in Germany on YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.